Mortis Trilogy. And Christian Taylor, the writer, and I, the writer and I were discussing these stories after George had laid them out. And we were discussing how do we conquer this and how do we, how do we bring it all together to, to make it make sense and still maintain some kind of continuity with the other Star Wars films, with, with something this supernatural. We, you know, I would just tell Christian, you, know, you have to think of it like these are three entire episodes that take place in the tree when Luke is on Dagobah. This is all spiritual, this is all metaphor, this is all symbolic in some way. Ultimately, the dagger of Mortis is really just more of a metaphorical device. He who wields the blade will be able to control my brother difficult thing about the dagger was trying to work out the logic of it that you have this weapon that can kill these ultra beings you know um, Joel Aaron and I made the blade manifest itself you know out of smoke so that it, it had it seemed to have some kind of more magical property I, I always thought it was kind of you know a very Wagnerian scene to go down into the, the depths you know and it's, it's surrounded by fire I can go no further. When you reach the altar, it will give you what you need. If we branch out our discussion from the dagger as a metaphor, then I can tell you the many things in this arc of stories is a metaphor. Everything is symbolic of everything that takes place in all six Star Wars films.